It's it's been a lot of fun actually. I really at one point didn't want to do it, and Jesse kind of pushed me a little bit and said, "You got to try this." And then I I know a lot of people that are that are pitching, a lot of friends of mine, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to compete against them. And so I said, "Ah, what the heck?" So, but it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's been very informative, and it's kind of making me think about my company, I guess, in ways that I hadn't thought about it in at least recently. Being part of the entrepreneurial community uh, in Bangor and in Maine in general is, uh, is a challenge. Uh, trying to find support sometimes is, is, is problematic, but as far as the people that are involved in creating the companies and startups, uh, we all support each other and we're all there to, to basically help out or answer questions. Or actually, in some ways, I do, I do some work for some of them, actually doing some animation work and if they need something and, and if I need anything, they're right there you know, to help me out with whatever, you know, whatever the needs might be. I'm done with working for people. I, I've worked for people for 20 some years for game, well, longer my whole career basically. And I've worked in the game industry for some 22 years and it's always been for somebody else. And it's like right now, it's, uh, I'm at that point in my life where I really want to do my own projects. I don't want to answer to anybody but myself. So I'm responsible for myself, I'm responsible for my company and I'm responsible for what people see that we produce and that for me is is both a challenge and it's it's a lot of fun I like making games and you know so I what can I complain about I'm, I work for myself well if I were to go to the next level and then continue on to the hundred thousand it basically means that I'd be able to make what we're doing right now which are really good games even better I'd be able to bring talented artists and programmers into the company uh, to make even better games and that that means a lot to me being in front of people who know what they're doing in the business side is always valuable. I'm, I've been on the art and the creative side of this for my entire career. And so Eager Games is like the first company that I've ever really started. And having people like the judges who will basically be watching our pitches offer insights as to how to do what I'm doing better as far as the business end of it, that's invaluable. And being in front of these people, I think, is uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to be able to learn. And I think that... I have a lot to learn with the business side. You know, the business side is not my forte. I think these people can give me a, a good idea about what I need to do and how to make it better. And, and um, you know, how, you can't beat that free advice. You know, and, and so I'm pretty excited about that. I felt that things went okay. There were a number of takes. Am I allowed to say that? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I am much better staying in front of a class. You know, talking about something that. You know, I understand what I do for a living. The business side of it, again, still talking about that part of it is a little bit of a daunting thing for me, and more of a challenge. Well, the questions that came from the judges are things that I've been aware of. I mean, that's stuff that, you know, it's, I understand that I, I know everything that there is to know about it as far as my business goes. You know, I think that the challenge was trying to say something simply and, and succinctly, you know, whereas I can go on long time about each of the topics in detail. This happens to me a lot. I get a lot of people who ask me, you know, who want to start their own company, and in particular game companies. A lot of kids coming out of college. And the first piece of advice that I give anybody is to do it. Don't talk about it. Don't, you know, think about it. Put your ideas on paper, start making your game, and get it out to market. I say, you know, it's so much better to be able to sit down and just do things and see what happens as opposed to just talking about it and not doing it because too many people think about it and never take that step. So doing it, just do it. It's as simple as that. To be in front of uh, the, the, uh, the judges like we were, I think was an honor to be able to, you know, one, be in the same room with a lot of them. Their experience is obvious. And to be able to get advice and, and to talk to them even for the minute or two we had the opportunity to was invaluable. So I had a really good time just talking to them. I think that, you know, I wish I had more opportunities to talk to people like that, make what I do a little bit easier. But, you know, this was a great chance to, to be able to explore that.